Global electric vehicle enthusiasts, welcome to Volt China. Today, we're diving into an epic life or death battle in the world of batteries. How BYD's Blade battery is making Tesla uneasy. In 2024, while Tesla recalls 200,000 Model Ys worldwide due to issues with batteries, software, and more, BYD engineers are doing something audacious, piercing 18 blade batteries with a 5mm steel needle. This isn't just a regular test. It's a quiet war, and the real key might not be what you think. Battery range. Shocked? Don't worry. We'll take it slow and dive into the details. First, let's compare the build and structure of these two batteries. If you tear down the BYD Hans chassis, you'll see ultra-thin battery cells, only 1.35 millimeters thick, arranged like blades with a space utilization rate of 76%. In contrast, Tesla's proud 4,680 cylindrical battery has a space utilization rate of just 63%. It's like two backpacks of the same size, but BYDs can hold more energy treasures, while Tesla's still has lots of empty space. Digging deeper, BYD's second-generation blade battery has a trap built right in. By using a honeycomb aluminum alloy bracket, the battery pack's compression strength is raised to 1,000 megapascals. What does that mean? It's like an area the size of a fingernail can withstand the weight of 10 tons, as if they've built a steel city inside the battery pack. On the other hand, Tesla's 4,680 battery, in pursuit of a 300 watt hour per kilogram energy density, uses high nickel turner materials. These materials have a bit of a temper. When temperatures exceed 200 degrees Celsius, they release a lot of oxygen, like a small bomb hiding inside the battery ready to explode. The gap between these technologies sends a shiver down your spine, doesn't it? Now let's witness the most rigorous death sentence test in the power battery world, the puncture test. In the video, a steel needle slowly pierces the blade battery and the infrared thermometer shows that the temperature stays below 50 degrees Celsius. After 24 hours, the blade battery remains perfectly intact with no flames and no explosions. Now let's look at Tesla's lithium-ion battery. When the steel needle punctures it, sparks fly, and it's like igniting a small fireball. Why the huge difference? The secret lies in the battery cell materials. BYD insists on using lithium iron phosphate, which even if the battery is damaged, only decomposes into carbon dioxide. In contrast, Tesla's ternary lithium materials release oxygen, essentially providing a suicidal recipe for combustion. Even more dramatically, in 2022, Tesla quietly switched the Model 3 Standard Edition to lithium iron phosphate batteries and had to pay BYD $300 per car in patent fees because 83% of the global patents for lithium iron phosphate are controlled by BYD. It's like Tesla using BYD's weapon to compete against BYD and paying for the privilege. Doesn't that seem a bit ironic? Winter arrives, and the most critical question for electric vehicles becomes range. In Harbin's snowy parking lot, BYD Han EV and Tesla Model 3 took part in an extreme cold challenge. At the start, both cars showed a range of 500 kilometers. Three hours later, the Han EV had 378 kilometers left, while the Model 3 only had 192 kilometers remaining. That's not a small difference. Why is BYD so winter resistant. It's all thanks to the Blade Battery's all-weather thermal management system. At minus 30 degrees Celsius, it automatically activates a self-heating function, like giving the battery a warm sweater. Meanwhile, Tesla's BMS system is still busy heating the cooling fluid. As if in the snow, BYD's battery is wearing a down jacket, and Tesla's is only in a thin coat. Let's talk about charging. BYD's new generation 1000 volt high voltage platform, equipped with 30 millimeter thick liquid cooled cables, can charge 500 kilometers in just six minutes. This speed makes Tesla's V4 supercharger look like an antique. Imagine waiting for a charge in the cold wind while BYD owners have already driven off in style. Doesn't that sting a little? While Tesla is still fine tuning the 4680 production line at its Texas factory, BYD's sixth-generation blade battery has already rolled off the production line, with costs are slashed to an astonishing $87 per kilowatt hour. 
37% cheaper than Tesla. It's like BYD is fighting the cost war, making better products at lower prices. Speaking of chips, BYD's self-developed IGBT 5.0 chip improves the efficiency of the electric control system by 98%. In contrast, Tesla's autonomous driving still uses outdated NVIDIA solutions. It's like BYD is using the latest super brain while Tesla is still relying on an old small brain. In market competition, BYD is going all out. From the 70,000 RMB Seagull to the million dollar Yangwang U8, BYD's product lineup is like a giant net covering all price ranges. Meanwhile, Tesla is stuck at the 250,000 RMB price point, unable to move. It feels like BYD is using dimensional strikes to conquer the market, while Tesla is stuck in place. Ten years ago, Elon Musk scoffed in an interview, Have you seen BYD's cars? I think their products are terrible. Today, Tesla has to pay BYD a patent fee for every Model 3 standard edition it sells. Isn't history repeating itself? It's like the competition between Huawei's Kirin chip and Qualcomm. So the question is, when you can't have both safety and range, which would you choose? The safety assurance of BYD's blade battery or the other advantages of Tesla? Come vote and let us know your choice. In the next episode, we'll dissect why Tesla's FSD is struggling in China. It's not that the technology is bad, it's just that Huawei's MDC 810 computing power is eight times more powerful. Are you excited? Be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on this electrifying showdown.